Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nor Muhammad from Animosh and I'm back with another unboxing. Okay, so the story is this. Um, a few, I think a few months back, I've met with a new friend who is also from Malaysia. So his Instagram handle, uh, Instagram name is uh, Dive Watch Saka. <laughs> so a pretty weird name to have for your Instagram handle. Anyway, his real name is Akma. So you know what? I've uh, since uh, then. Uh, we've been chatting in Instagram and also in WhatsApp and he said that uh, so one one cool day uh, I said to him hey dude why don't we do some a watch swap so this is my watch swap number three previously I have had, I have two watch swap with another friend of mine who is also from Asia uh, Mr. Boon now the third watch swap is with Mr. Akmal from Penang okay so let's get to the first watch which is this one oh before that we should do a quick wristwatch check today I am still wearing my Casio G-Shock DW5600 which is on this uh, Neto Strike Adapter from uh, Vario Singapore so I've done the review for this watch and also this strap so please go ahead and check out my video and don't forget to get your discount code uh, whenever you want to purchase this uh, Vario strap okay so let's get down to business okay so watch number one let's take that away for a while so this is the citizen ny0040 or also the called the left-handed citizen which is a cool a nice alternative to the seiko uh, skx007 or 009 let me give a quick wipe there all right so man i've been searching high and low for this particular watch uh, particularly i wanted to buy the uh, the full loom dial but when it came but when when it came uh, when it was for sale unfortunately at that time i didn't have really have any cash to buy it so <laughs> so i missed on that sale now this thing has become uh, much much more rarer than a dinosaur okay so <laughs> No, this is not a dinosaur, but it is much, much more rare compared to a dinosaur already, right? So, anyway, so uh, we've talked. Uh, I've talked with Akma, so he said that if you want to buy this one with a still reasonable price, he mentioned that it is uh, worth it if you go to Bangkok and buy one of those. You know, this one is it, some. It, maybe you can find still find it in Malaysia, but if you want those rare dials such as the full loom dial or even the blue dial, which is much rarer compared to the full loom dial. You could always go to Bangkok and you know get get from there. Okay, so yeah, maybe I'll 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 go to Bangkok to just to go and purchase this uh, this watch. Okay, so please don't tell my wife. Huh? All right, so <laughs> let's get to the watch itself. So this is the um, again Citizen NY 0040 which features this super cool uh, left hand crown. I think so. Yeah, I I will do a full review for this particular watch, but just let let's just take a look at this uh, watch as for my initial review okay so you see that the uh, how you just I've, I've just unscrewed the, the the crown and you can wind it the uh, using my left hand okay so normally when the crown is here i just using it using my right hand but this one this time around i'm using my left hand and the direction is uh, a little bit awkward but you know you can you, you kind of get used to it really soon okay so the bezel is nice there's little or no back play so this is really really nice the sound is a bit tinny ting 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 not that bad but yeah not as refined as a seiko i think i think this is a 60 click bezel okay so yeah how cool is that okay so the watch case i think is 41 millimeters uh we'll do we'll, we'll get to the dimension when I, when i do my full review and surprisingly this came with an an aftermarket bracelet so mr akma said that he bought this from ebay uh if you guys want to know uh where did he got it so yes if you guys want to know please do leave me a comment down below i will ask him to leave me give me a link on where he could get you could get this uh, bracelet yeah you yeah, know typical you know uh, stamp uh class there 
and there's no sign because this is an aftermarket bracelet and the fitting is surprisingly nice okay so let's get at, get to the back yes you can see here there is this new citizen pro master logo down there um, and japan movement blah 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 okay oh so about the movement this is the uh, miyota 8215 movement movement featuring a a hand winding but no hacking so yeah not really big deal because I've had this movement in my parnis and it's been working really great so yeah nothing it's not really a big minus but I you know brands such as uh, seven Friday even use this one and a whole lot more of the um, micro brands are micro brands are using this movement so yeah it true work, work horse movement okay so let's get to the next watch all right so let's put it at this side and yes the first ever to sell on my uh, channel and also I believe this is the first ever to sell for this new model that is ever featured on YouTube so <laughs> so this is this is the new to sell packaging uh, if, if you guys have been following the watch watch world uh, you know that T-Cell doesn't come with this box. You, they will come with a, you know, a very simple, simple, very simple box. There's no, uh, no appropriate box. Now, at the cost of more than ten, uh, more uh, additional ten dollars, you get this one for uh, total, which brings about the price of up to two hundred and thirty dollars. So you get this four little, little box, and yes, that. Let's see what is inside. What is inside? all right so what do we have here so nothing you know there's no there's some felt inside here and there is this um watch pillow and wow what do we have here this is the latest model from t -Cell, which is the t -Cell submersible okay it doesn't on the website i'm not really sure what do they call this model i don't think they put uh, because the, the 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 one the the old model is called uh, t-cell marine diver this one is it's written here t-cell submersible is it the model name i'm not sure but i am pretty sure that this model is a homage to a rolex rolex submersible i'm not really sure of the reference number but yeah it is still a cool watch so i believe i am the first youtube channel in the whole youtube youtube um youtube community to ever get my hands or to ever do a review of this particular product so yeah i'm pretty glad that um, akmal uh, loaned this to me not really loan because we swap our watches anyway so let's check out the watch so um i will get through the specs and dimension and everything i mean in my full review but this i think this is a 40 millimeter diameter and we have a Miyota 9015 which is the higher bit movement 28,800 bit per hour and uh, we have also a ceramic brush bezel which is uh, I don't know the one the, the T-Cell Marine Diver has a ceramic poly ceramic uh, ceramic bezel this one has I think it is it is a brush uh, brush uh, bezel okay brush uh, ceramic bezel which is really cool so let's see yeah I I think that is 120 click right that is nice and we have also uh, a loom pip up here loom pip up here and the dial the dial is i don't know do, when i received this what i think it was a you know it was a matte black but you can see now under the direct light it is actually a sunburst black <laughs> that is nice okay so anyway we also have a an uh, printed indices here which is coated in a, i think it is a c3 luminova super luminova and we have uh, the you know let's see if i can unscrew this thing and move the hand okay so we have a you know your typical mercedes hand here and the uh, submersible printing in red and water is off up to 200 meters okay that is nice and the case yeah let's talk about the case the case is your your current um rolex submariner the your, your the current rolex submariner size the soup or what they call they call it super case i think so you know not so vintagey but yeah it's, it's nice i think i i like the case and 
the difference between the marine diver oh is it marine diver sorry the first t-cell um sorry guys i, <laughs> I totally screwed that out that the, the previous t-cell was not called the marine diver but i forgot what it is called marine diver is for the i think it was for another brand a uh, micro band i totally forgot so anyway the first model didn't came with any sign crown so this one however came with a nice T sign crown, which is really cool. Okay, so yeah, we have maybe a thickness of about 13 uh, millimeters, and this bracelet is super super nice. You know, you know your typical um, uh, Rolex Oster style bracelet, and it has a screwed links. Let me see if I can show you that. Okay, we have a screwed link over. Oh, nope. Come on, focus, focus. Uh, it's not gonna focus. Ah, whatever. Okay, so anyway, it, it it has a screwed screwed links and also the clasp. Okay, the clasp, guys, is an improvement over the. Uh, we have, I think, yesterday I've I've watched random Rob's video where he mentioned that the clasp on the T cell, on the old model, start, you know, it, it features a um, a what do you call it a uh, glide lock. But the problem with that model is it, it is easily you know easily come up by itself. So this one, however, doesn't come with that glide lock. What it came with is you know yeah this is your normal normal Rolex style class right. What with it came with a let me see if I can show you a mic, micro adjustment inside this uh, inside this uh, class. So I'm not really sure how did. Akmal adjust his one, but I'm pretty sure that there is another. Uh, basically, it came with just two adjustments, so not really that, you know, you that uh, easy to adjust. But yeah, it is much better compared to you know compared to the previous model. So I think this is an improvement. Okay, so I will do if I will use this for about maybe one or two weeks and give you guys a full review. So if you guys have any questions or whatsoever that you wanted to know about this particular model. Um, since that you know, I think I'm the first one to ever review it in YouTube so please go ahead and give me your comments or your questions at the comment section below and of course uh, regarding this one as well alright so I hope you guys enjoy it enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if you like to see more content such as this please go ahead and subscribe guys subscribe I really really need you guys to subscribe and of course don't forget to push the bell button twice so that you don't miss any more future new videos from my, from me in the future so i hope you guys uh, are doing well and enjoy your weekend and i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye